So what about the ordinary person? So uh, if you look at uh, across Africa and see where there have been major constitutional changes that have uh, empowered people at the grassroots, it's been a long struggle and it's never supported by the people in power. Unfortunately, too much of our policy is still focused on president's offices. And it's not enough, for example, on uh, parliaments to strengthen you know, the representative factor of people. And I don't think we do enough, frankly, in supporting you know, democratic election training mm -hmm. and, and national um, election councils and, and civil society organizations. We try to do it, but I think we need to do much more whether it's in the area of, of women or, or, or youth or mm. entrepreneur, you know, we really need to get down to the grassroots because that's where change is coming from. You know, being an incumbent has a lot of advantages. Mm. But, but what about the fact that when you look on the ground, you look yeah. at the issues really, the man has not done well in terms of so, Boko Haram. Yeah. So, the the uh, Naira has uh, actually been significantly yeah. devalued. Yeah. Unemployment yeah. is among the youth is simply too much. Yeah. What message yeah. does he have, frankly, uh, actually, to demand... Uh, to... See, I agree with my colleague Whitney in terms of economic reforms. I think there's one trajectory where economic reforms are moving at a fast pace. Mm. But institutional reforms are not moving. So you have this north-south divide that continues to actually, at this time, is increasing. And you have these terrorist issues that are actually quite, uh, as, as Whitney has emphasized, they are quite serious. And uh, there are other issues that we are not talking about. The, the Delta area is still uh, problematic. Mm. So institution, in terms of institutions, much has to be done in, 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 uh, in, uh, in Nigeria. The divide even goes further beyond the North-South, really, because uh, I have uh, seen where the Yorubas are complaining that they have been actually marginalized. Uh, and uh, yeah. uh, good luck, Johnson, who, of course, uh, there are some people, in fact, who are now saying, in fact, he might very well be bad luck Johnson. Johnson. Uh, they say he surrounds himself with the Ijo, his community. Yeah. No, no, there are a lot of divisions. Uh, again, you know, as, as I said, the Delta is not happy because they are still marginalized, you know. So there is a lot to be done in Nigeria. And, but I agree, if Nigeria moves, West Africa will move and Africa will move. So uh, we need to invest, invest a lot in terms of reforms there.